This is for anyone who has been told that they are making it up. And uh, I, I went through this uh, in my high school years when I was suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome. And uh, we were just talking, I was just on a group coaching call and we were just talking about um, this particular topic of people not believing you and, and even saying that you're lying, which is just crazy. But um, I had a teacher in year nine and this is when i had chronic fatigue syndrome when i was really struggling i had no help at the time no support and i was managing only like one hour a day at school um you know and just struggling through it basically and it was so hard to concentrate in class and i wasn't an academic anyway so it was hard enough as it was but to then you know have chronic fatigue syndrome and really struggle through that was extremely tough and so um, I couldn't do the homework that this English teacher wanted me to do and uh, there's a funny story to this so um, and she just had it in for me it was like she just fully thought I was just lying to her and I was like no miss I, I really can't do it like I just don't have the energy to do it and um, yeah like I'm, I miss all these classes and she thought I was wagging and not being there and there was no empathy there was no understanding there was no interest in understanding she was like that snarly teacher who was like you're lying right yeah oh yeah yeah you know and so I just want to uh say don't worry about them like there's gonna be that teacher that person that uh you know that that human in your life who will look at you and totally degrade you and some people will just not understand and that's okay and uh sadly it got to the point where we had to have a, a meeting with the principal because this lady did not believe that i was uh ill and that i was suffering with chronic fatigue syndrome and that i actually couldn't do the workload that she was giving everybody and uh you know she kind of it was one of those things where she pretended to like really care but she didn't and it was fine I let it go in the end I, I got over the anger and I focused on well ultimately it doesn't matter whether she believes in me or not or believes it or not ultimately I just need to just focus on myself and forget about her she doesn't matter who gives a shit she doesn't care about me I don't care about her and uh it was challenging but uh it was also really liberating because after that I could just let go if Having, I didn't have to prove to her. I did at the time with my parents. We had to like show her all these medical statements and blood tests and it's ridiculous. Uh, but some people just aren't going to want to believe you. They're not going to understand you and they're not going to care. And the sooner you stop trying to convince them, the better off you'll be. And so I just wanted to share that story. And the best part about this story is uh, obviously, uh, you know, after year 12, I recovered. So after four years of going through it, uh, I recovered. And then I obviously started helping people with chronic fatigue syndrome in the later years. And I actually wrote a book. And some of you, there's probably a hell of a lot of you have read the book. You know, we don't sell it anymore. It sold out a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, we now just have an amazing holistic program, which is way more in-depth than any book could be. And the best part about this was I literally, when I published the book and we got thousands of copies in, I literally signed one and put it in her pigeonhole <laughs> and I signed it. I signed three. I gave one to uh, an amazing teacher. I'm going to give her a shout out, Miss Georgia Pavlo. Um, she'll probably never see this, but she was an amazing person and um, she had so much compassion and empathy and she didn't understand what was going on, but she cared and God, that made a difference to me. She really just uh was so empathetic and understanding and I would not go to school for months sometimes and she would just be so lovely and you know she'd know that if I would if I left that it was okay and um, she even offered to drive me home once when I had to leave early because I wasn't feeling well and uh and she said to me she said Toby attitude makes altitude and she was an incredible person and she was absolutely damn right attitude makes altitude meaning that your attitude is going to uh, put you on the trajectory of um, where you want to go and so that stuck with me uh, for a very long time and uh, you know it was just so uh, amazing really to have that one person who was like 
you know, literally like the devil, like just was so mean and so rude and so uh, neglective. And then, you know, to have an amazing uh, teacher who really cared to and understood. So, you know, you're going to have both and that's okay. Uh, but, you know, it was bittersweet to um, sign three copies, one, two to two amazing teachers and really thank them in the, in the book. And then the last one was to Miss Doyle. <laughs> and just literally, uh, I just wrote, you know, just signed it and put it in a thing. And I think she would have been surprised seeing that, she was my English teacher that uh, never really liked me. And so I just wanted to share that video with you to uh, let you know that it's okay. Some people just aren't going to get it. And, uh, you know, the sooner you let go of that and just focus on yourself. And we see this every single day inside our program with our members when they let go of uh, trying to, you know, because that's energy. It's, you're, you're wasting a lot of energy on trying to convince others who just won't be convinced anyway and so you're better off just focusing on convincing yourself and working on yourself to where you want to be so i hope this video helps um thinking of you hang in there stay strong and remember attitude does make altitude